Okay, so in this video, we're going to prove by induction that 9 to the n minus 1 is divisible by 8. So uh, a lot of these divisibility proof by induction questions often incorporate the index here. Okay, so look similar to this problem. Okay, so uh, this one is fairly straightforward. Um, so hopefully you can kind of like get to grips with it early on here. Okay, it is subtly different to uh, the problem that we looked at uh, just now when we introduced um, the divisibility style of question. So you can see that there are subtly different forms to have to contend with. Okay, so first of all, uh, prove true. For n equals 1. So we've got 9 to the 1, take away 1, which is just 9 take away 1, which is 8, which is divisible by 8. So that's fine. Okay. Number 2, assume true for n equals k. So I replace the n with k, so I've got 9 to the k minus 1. And what I'm saying is that this is 8 times some positive integer, a. So 9 to the k minus 1, in order for it to be divisible by 8, must be either 8 times 1, or 8 times 2, or 8 times 3, or 8 times 4, etc. So it must be 8 times some number, a some positive integer a. Step three. We want to prove true for n equals k plus 1. So we're going to replace the n with k plus 1, and we get this. OK? Now, for these types of problems, uh, you need to be strong and confident with your uh, laws of indices here, OK? What we need to remember is that when I write down 9 to the power of k plus 1, this is the same as writing down 9 to the k times 9 to the 1. They've got the same base number, and when you multiply them, the indices get added together, OK? So that's what you need to remember. So what I've got here is 9 times 9 to the k take away 1. Now, the 9 to the k part that I've got here, I can get uh, an ex expression for that by going back to my assumed statement. Okay, So from that, I can say that 9 to the k is equal to 8a plus 1. So just adding the 1 to both sides. Now, because I've assumed that that's true, then this statement is also true. So I can replace the 9 to the power of k with 8a plus 1. Now, if I multiply that bracket out, I've got 9 times 8a. Now, I know that's 72a. However... I'm going to keep it as 8 lots of 9a. The reason why is that it makes it very clear that I know it's divisible by 8. OK? I've got 9 times 1, which is 9, and I've still got that takeaway 1 on the outside. So I've got 8 lots of 9a and 9 takeaway 1, well, that's 8. OK? So I could then factorise that by bringing the 8 out and having 9a plus 1, like so, which is divisible by 8. Because as a is a positive integer, 9a plus 1 is also a positive integer. So I've got 8 lots of that, which is clearly a multiple of 8. So that is really my proof by induction. So concluding statement would say that as n equals 1, 
is true, or as we've been saying, as true for n equals 1, I guess. So I'll best uh, I'll pop it around that way. So as true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then we've shown that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So it must be true for all n greater than or equal to 1, okay, where n is a positive integer. And that is uh, quite a nice, basic, straightforward uh, divisibility proof by induction. And you can see the process that we're going to use. We're going to utilize a rearranged form of uh, the n equals k statement number two, substitute it into statement number three, and then I can show that it must be divisible by the required value.